everybody, welcome back to another smoking video. Again, we're gonna be smoking something in our Pit Boss Pro Series pellet combo. It's a half pellet smoker, half gas grill. There's a whole series of videos we've been putting together, everything from purchasing and assembly and first burning to all the recipes we've been cooking, and we've been having a blast doing this. And because it's close to Easter, and we didn't actually cook this on Easter Sunday, we're gonna go ahead and do a spiral cut ham on our Pit Boss smoker. So we're gonna be double smoked. Uh, this is about a nine and a half pound um, spiral cut ham. It comes with its glazed packet. Um, so yeah, this is a spiral cut premium smoked ham with natural juices and it's fully cooked. So the reality is we're really trying to heat this up much like you would be doing in your oven. But honestly, I wanna smoke it again. I wanna impart a little bit more smoked flavor. So we're gonna start out by just getting this guy smoked. So I'm gonna open up the package and I'm gonna place it um, with the cut side of the ham, right? You think about it, you got a big round end of the ham and it's sort of like a shank. We're gonna place that cut side down and we're gonna smoke it for maybe an hour and a half or so. We just wanna get a little bit more smoke flavor into this. After we get some smoke on it, we're gonna go ahead and turn up the temperature, put it in a pan, put some juices in it to make sure it stays good and moist. We're gonna cover it up and bring it up to temperature. And then when we finish, we're gonna go ahead and flame broil it and get a nice crispy glaze on the whole outside. Gonna have a really good ham. So let's um, get this thing prepared and we'll get it on the grill. Now that we've got this out of the uh, bag and the foil, there's still another, um, another bag around this. There's gonna be a lot of juice that's gonna flow out in here, which is why I have it in this pan. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and get this guy opened up, throw away our wrapper, and then we'll get it out on the smoker. And keep in mind, if you buy a ham that is already cut, spiral cut or pre-cut, just be cautious when you pick it up. It's gonna be rather flimsy, as they say. I'm just gonna cut this down one side so I can let some of the juice drain out of it as I pick this up. Here. All right, we've got this open. We've got the juice from the ham down in the bottom of the pan. We're gonna go out, we're gonna place it on the smoker just like you see it here, bone side up, cut side down. We're gonna smoke it for about an hour and a half, and I'm doing it at a really low temperature. I have the Pit Boss Combo uh, Series grill on the S setting. That's about 180 degrees, depending on um, how you have your P setting set. Uh, for me, it's about 180, and it's pretty hot here in Southern Florida, so it could very well get closer to 190 or so. But we'll see. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing put on and get some smoke imparted into it. So as I mentioned before, we've got this thing sitting at 180 degrees. It's actually closer to 200, just as in the smoke setting. It's out here in direct sun. We're gonna open this up and place it face side down. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and season up some um, stock of whatever kind you want. I have the ham juice from when I opened it. I'm also gonna be putting in some apple juice. I wanna keep it nice and sweet. I think that's gonna be a great way to do that. Uh, and I'm adding a little bit of mustard, dried mustard, and a little bit of salt to this just for some flavor. And you can add whatever would be of interest to you. Yes, when you live in the hot, humid Florida weather, you get a Tupperware salt shaker. We had these on the boat. It was the only way to keep this from clumping. All right, so we put this in at 300 degrees for about two hours. Um, the inside temperature right now is at about 180, probably a little more than it needs to be, but that's gonna be more than hot. So I'm now gonna open this up, take the foil off, and I'm gonna put some glaze over the top of it and just turn the heat up really high to see if we can get it to at least sort of crisp up a little bit on the outer edge. That's all we're trying to do. Normally you would do this like in a broiler, but um, I don't wanna heat up the house. So I'm gonna see if the grill will get hot enough to try that.
subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and a thumbs up. Thanks a bunch, man. Appreciate it. So we uncovered it and cranked it up to about 450 degrees for about 30 minutes. Just after we put the glaze on, the idea was to just sort of uh, crystallize the glaze a little bit, but it is pretty good. We're, it's already sliced, but we're, we're picking some of the top parts off, pretending it fell off. I'm not pretending, I'm just <laughs> eating it. That's good, man. Do I have to share it? Well, you can't eat this whole 10 pound ham, can you? <laughs> Should I not have asked that? I mean, I probably could. So if you enjoyed this video on how to double smoke a ham on the Pit Boss Pellet Grill, see you.